look at all the friends I've made! <laughs> um, uh, also, I'm back. <laughs> but yeah, look at them all lined up. The only thing that bothers me is there's like some spaces around Monster Kid. It looks like some other characters belong there. So, could have centered them a little better, I think, but oh well. Look at them all. Oh, look at all the friends I made. Okay, okay. Okay, I have beaten the game, and this is essentially, I refer to it as the victory lap. I basically get to go all around the map and just talk to everybody I've, I've talked to and fought and stuff before. And, um, and then I come back and, and end the game. So I, I suspect this is only going to be one segment. It could possibly be two if the credits run really long, but I think most likely it's just going to be the one, so we'll see. Hello, Frisk. Alfie's upgraded my phone. I am having a lot of fun with the texting feature. Sans, check, check out this one. Oh man, Tori. That's brutal. I can't believe the queen has returned. And also that she's a huge dork. You two are two feet away from each other. <laughs> Why are you texting? Worry not, Papyrus. We are texting for a good reason. Why is that? Well, because we're huge dorks. <laughs> Sans, please do not say that. You are not a dork. You are more of a bonehead. Haha, <laughs> wow! Those puns are even less funny coming from her. <laughs> then why are you smiling? It's a pity smile! <laughs> oh, let's see if she says anything else. Oh, Frisk, do not feel left out. I have been writing messages to you as well. You still have my phone number after all this time. Do you not? Oh, let me try one more time. Frisk, how about you go look around before we all go? Seeing how many good friends you have made here. I am almost certain you must have made some more. Okay. Frisk, Tori was telling me how she made butterscotch pie for you. Bscotch pie. Oh, I should bake it for everyone sometime. Why am I doing a British accent for her all of a sudden? Oh, I should bake it for everyone sometime. <laughs> Especially me. Uh oh, that sounds really good. Cooking? Can I help? I want to see that. Wait a second. Can I help too? Certainly. It would be fun to cook together. On second thought, maybe I'll order a pizza. <laughs> oh my god, there's gonna be so much dialogue here. Sorry, I don't have time to talk, Frisk. I'm supposed to be working right now. <laughs> right. But you aren't working! I know, and it's taking all of my concentration. Okay. So, Asgore! How about making me a member of the Royal Guard? Well, Papyrus, now that the war is over... We might not need the Royal Guard anymore. What? Then what was the point of he the human's quest? They journeyed all that way, and I'm still not a member of the Royal Guard. Truly, this is the worst possible ending. <laughs> it seems like you really botched your quest, Frisk. But I, the Great Papyrus, will always be your friend. No matter how hard you try to get rid of him. Hey! That's true! <laughs> Frisk, why don't you take a walk around? Frisk, why don't you fly? It's faster. Yeah, Frisk, why don't you fly? Hmm, flying sounds a little dangerous. But they can't fly! Not with that attitude. <laughs> oh god. I'm gonna wear my voice out at this rate. 
I'm only like five and a half minutes in. <sighs> so, Alfie's, what do you want to do now that we're all free? We have the whole world to explore now. Well, of course I'm going to go out and, um, no, I, I should be honest. I'm gonna stay inside and watch anime like a total loser. <laughs> the look on her face is amazing. <laughs> She's like, I am comfortable with myself like this. That's the spirit! Everyone, a celebration to being losers! <laughs> Papyrus has the right idea. Losing to Frisk is the best thing to ever happen to me. So I'm glad that we... Huh? What is it, Asgore? Um... What's an... Anime? Oh my god! Frisk, please! Help me explain what anime is to Asgore! <laughs> the look on her face. <sighs> Why are all these expressions so awesome all of a sudden? Y you see, it's like a cartoon, but... With swords or with guns? With swords. That seems to be what everyone's focusing on. So it's like a cartoon, but with swords? Golly, that sounds neato! <laughs> he is a big dork. <sighs> Where is this? Where can I see the anime? H hold on, uh, I think I have some on my phone. Here, look at this! Oh, uh, um, that's the, that's the wrong, uh, never mind. Golly, were those two robots <laughs> kissing? Boy, technology sure is something, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it sure is. <laughs> I miss doing the Alfie's laugh. Hey, Alfie's. Alfie's. Do you think we can watch something with fighting next? Oh, and then something with princesses? Or fighting princesses! I'll see if I can manage to find any like that, Undyne. <laughs> yes, it's not that hard. Yay! <laughs> uh, hey, Frisk, why don't you go say hi to Napstablook? Oh, tell them I said hi, too. I'm gonna assume they're done talking when they tell me to leave, basically. Psst. F Frisk! Um, you've gotta tell me. D do you think Asgore and Toriel are... Uh, ever gonna get back together? See, I wanna say yes because I think they're an adorable couple, but... I think their relationship, unfortunately, I think it's completely dead, so I'm gonna say no this time. Yeah, that's what I thought. A woman can dream, though, right? And write fanfiction. <laughs> Again, her expression. <laughs> A lot of fanfiction! On second thought, maybe I won't write fanfic of real people. Yeah, it's a little creepy. I mean, isn't real life already the greatest fanfiction of all? And my phone just went off, sorry. <laughs> Uh, don't tell anyone I said that. Because I'm going to post it online. <sighs> I sure am excited to finally use the human internet. I bet they have all sorts of things Undyne and I can watch. Uh, yeah, you could say that. Oh man, we're going to be able to watch anime online? Of course, Undyne! What do you think we've been fighting for all along? <laughs> and she always had that smug expression because I didn't notice that before this scene. Yeah, what do you... Whoops. Jinx, I knew you were going to make that joke. Oh. <laughs> Wait, Alfie's. I didn't know you knew Sans. <laughs> well, I... Doesn't everybody? Who the hell is Sans? <laughs> Toriel said hell. Who the heck is Sans? 
<laughs> okay. Toriel! <laughs> hey, Frisk, why don't you go look for Metaton? He was here for a while, too. Well, his leg was. <laughs> but he said he had to go somewhere. Okay. Howdy, Frisk. Sorry about almost trying to take your soul. <laughs> oh, it's cool. I feel very bad about it. I hope we can still be pals. <laughs> Aww. Hey, don't worry about it, Asgore. I think everybody's tried to kill Frisk at least once. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. Oh, I see. In that case, I'm not sorry, Frisk. <laughs> Asgore, that's not what I meant. <laughs> Frisk, I just realized. Now that we aren't fighting each other, I can finally ask you. Would you like a cup of tea? <laughs> He's all about the tea, man. <laughs> Would you like a cup of tea? <laughs> sure. Oh, well. Actually, the cup I had is cold now. So you shouldn't have it. But I am so happy you said yes. <laughs> That's all that matters. As soon as I can, I will make you some more for I will make some more for you. His dialogue goes by really slow. Then we can be great pals. Took me long enough to think to press X. Well, <laughs> oh well. Oh, Frisk, if you're not busy. On nice days, you should walk around and have a good time. That's important. Uh, okay. All right, okay. Now I can actually run around and visit some other people. Let's see if I can talk to uh, Burger Pants. What can I do for you, little buddy? <laughs> so we're free, huh? Metaton told us as much! I gotta remember how I did his voice now. Then he told me, don't think that means you're getting off work early. Ah, uh, my boss. I love that guy. And by that I mean I hate him so much! So we're free now. Does that mean my double date is canceled? I know, it wasn't really a, a date. Here's the trick, little buddy. Lie to yourself all the time. Makes you feel better. <laughs> That's kind of true. <laughs> Freedom again? Don't tell anyone this, little buddy. Because they'll make fun of me. But I, I feel like I played a hand in everyone getting free somehow. Even if it was just working this awful job, I think I did something. I don't know if it's true, but I'll believe it anyway. Well, you did sell me some burgers I needed, so... Future. Little buddy, there's a brand new world out there waiting for us! I'm sure with my <clears throat> qualifications, it won't be long before I'm a famous movie star. Or maybe I'll just end up flipping burgers again. But it's as I say, nowhere to go but up! Literally in this case! Uh, all right, Burger Pants. Anytime, little buddy. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna miss playing this game so much, you guys. So, we're like, totally free now, huh? Yeah, like, totally free. Like, cool. Yeah, like, cool. Like, millennia of being in prison finally over? Yeah, that's like, pretty chill, I guess. <laughs> That's it? Oh, there's more. I'm a human. Oh, oops, really? Uh, well, when we said, um, we're hyped for the destruction of humanity, we were just, like, joking, you know? Did we say that? Probably? It's, like, practically our catchphrase. 
Really? I thought our catchphrase was b b b Braddy's the best, c c Caddy's the coolest. Um, no? <laughs> We've like literally never said that. Can it be though? Can it be? <laughs> Future. Hmm, now that we're gonna be free, oh my god, we can finally fulfill our dream of having a pet cat! <laughs> you can have burger pants as your pet cat. That's like your dream, Caddy. But, Braddy, I don't want to have a dream without you in it. Aw, Caddy! And in my dream, you clean up after the cat! Caddy! That's weird. Did I do future already? I think I just did. Okay, do you like cats? Me? Yeah, I love cats. They're like so tasty. They're like so cute. <laughs> Braddy, no! I'm just kidding. Kind of. Anyway, when was the last time you even saw a cat around here? Oh, just the other day! There was this cute little white cat walking around. It was, like, so clueless looking. I pet it for like an hour. Catty. Yeah, Breddy? I think that was, like, a dog. Dogs are just firm cats! <laughs> that works. Uh, like later and stuff. <laughs> Bye, girls. Thanks for entertaining me again. Oh, this guy. I didn't see him before. I didn't get to see him before, so I don't know if this uh, conversation is going to make sense. Metaton, he recognized my voice from when I called in, and he, he gave me his dress. I'm so... Ha ha ha. Yeah, this lion, uh, if you go earlier, which I forgot to do. He's, look, he's standing by the poster of Metaton and, and, uh, saying, like, I saw, you know, Metaton looks great in a dress, and I wonder if, you know, I could wear a dress. It's really cute. So I'm glad he, uh, oh, the webs aren't slowing me down anymore. Hi, Muffet. Bonjour, dearie! I just finished tallying up all of our donations! We finally raised enough to rescue all the spiders inside of the ruins! And we'll also be able to afford four pairs of stylish heels for every spider! <sighs> oh god, Papyrus was right. Papyrus was right. Okay. Good on you, Muffet. <laughs> Soul just sneezed and it scared the crap out of me. Uh, do, do, oh, hey, there's a guy. Uh, oh, that's Pyrope. Wonder if any humans would want to be my friend. Psych! That'd never happen. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to spend a whole lot of time in Hotland just because of all these mazes and shit. It, it'll be a lot easier to do Snowden. Seems like the mouse hacked the safe and took the cheese out. Good on you, mouse. Oh, oh, it's soon it's Sunderplane. Ah, uh, uh, human, you're leaving? I have something to say to you. Admittedly, I may have had limerent feelings for you before. However, upon examining my own actions, I now realize I didn't I did not love you, I was merely infatuated with the concept of love. The idea of romance, the concept of sharing affection with another. Through these desires, I built a false concept of you in my head. Such a relationship would not have ended well. In closing, I believe it is better that I choose chose to say nothing. Y y you idiot <laughs> Oh, Sunderplane is one of my favorite enemies. The Halloween wind is now a breeze. This gives you determination. Nice. Oh, this guy. Yeah, who are you? Freedom? What? Bah! You're pulling my leg. <laughs> Did 
Did I meet that guy before? I don't think I did. I mean, not not in this Let's Play. Like, he tells you to move the box, and then when you try to do it, he tells you you're doing it all wrong. Oh, you know what? I've been forgetting to call people. God damn it. No response. Their phone might be out of batteries. Great. Notice you received a text from Toriel. Dear Frisk, Sans and Alfies are teaching me how to text. I am learning so much. For example, do you know what a smiley is? Please look at this. <laughs> oh, I get it. It's a smiley with horns. Now turn your head to the left. It is a picture of me smiling at you. Can you see it? L-O-L. -L. That stands for lots of laughter. I always figure it was laughing out loud, but whatever. Sincerely, Toriel. That's all for now. Maybe in the next room you will receive another. Yeah, I should have been calling Toriel like every time. Whoa, Tim here news. Very goods. <laughs> Whoa, Tim here news. Very goods. Yeah, yeah, Tim's can go free. A pleasing development, no? Bob is the only smart Temmy. Whoa, if Temps can go on surface, can see lots of cute human! <laughs> human. <laughs> I don't remember them saying that before. Everyone's go free, but Tem! Tem not leave! Tem watch egg! Tem will be happy family! That's kind of sad. <laughs> Hoives! She's waiting for someone to let her out. <laughs> uh, Alright. Alright, mushroom. Mushroom dance. Mushroom dance. Whatever could it mean? <clears throat> it symbolizes my unbridled happiness. The government told me that they are willing to transplant me outside. Why didn't you smile at my dance? It almost feels a little rude. <laughs> can't help it. I mean, my face looks like that. <laughs> There's not a whole lot I can do with it. <sighs> ding, ding. Gerson! I've been wanting to talk to him. Because I wonder his, I wonder if he's ever going to remember that story he was starting to tell me. Okay, fluffy buns. Why? Okay, okay. I don't remember the voice. Did I even give him a voice? Okay, okay. I remember it clearly now. It was a monthly ad address at the castle and the queen was giving her part on current events. After finishing her update, she moved to pass the microphone to the king. However, she didn't realize the microphone was still in her hands when she said, oh, I remember now. Your turn, fluffy buns. <laughs> the audience burst into laughter. Realizing what she had said, she started laughing too. After a few moments, the king held up his arms. The crowd grew silent. He leaned towards the microphone Expression stern. Dear citizens, thank you for coming here today. I, King Fluffy Buns, and the rest is and the rest is history. <laughs> oh, cute! Is Asgore a goat? Eh, goat. Actually, that reminds me. Toriel once wore a flower-patterned moo moo. Folks kept saying nice moo moo to her, but she kept thinking they were calling her a cow, so she never wore it again. What was that question again? Oh, right. Asgore. He's a real interesting type of monster. The strongest type of all. We call them boss monsters. <laughs> when they have an offspring, the soul power of the parents flows into the child, causing the child to grow as the parents age. But Asgore doesn't have a child, so he's been stuck at the same age and probably will be forever. That's interesting. Huh? What if the child is a human? What? Nah, that wouldn't work. So if Asgore's your father, he'll definitely outlive you. Asgore and Toriel. Oh yeah, of course. Toriel was queen and Asgore was the king. It was tragic when she left. Since everyone knew she was really the brains behind the throne. But it was also just a teensy we it's just a teensy teensy bit relieving, you know? Those two were really insufferable together, nuzzling noses, being all cute and cuddly in public, embarrassing their children. <laughs> they were so sweet it made me sick. Thank god those days are over. <laughs> Aww. <sighs> oh, 
Undyne. Undyne, she's really come a long way since she was a little urchin. I used to be a hero myself back in the old days. Gerson the Hammer of Justice. When she was younger, Undyne would follow me around and watch me beat up bad guys. Sometimes she'd even try to help. Though, most of the time the folks she attacked weren't bad guys. It'd be the mailman or something like that. Anywho, I appreciated it. Wahahaha. Okay. <sighs> oh, this person again. So you never met my neighbor's daughter. Don't despair. This world has infinite opportunities. There's a limit to the things you can do today. Accepting this is healthy. <laughs> Take my neighbor's blessing and consider this blessing for anything you like. Yeah, apparently that, that person they were talking about doesn't actually exist as a character. Hey, Metaton. I'll talk to him in a second. What? Undyne says hi? The teller, I say... Something cool. Human, I, I'll never forget when you cheered me on when I was pretending to sleep. <laughs> no one had ever done... Had ever had so much faith in my fake sleep. Uh, also, this is awkward, but... What's your name? Everyone seems to know it now, except me. I read somewhere that, like, Napsablook is the only one whose soul wasn't absorbed for some reason. I guess because he's a ghost? I don't know. Or they are a ghost. Whatever. Seems like I've been missing out lately. I was just sitting at home listening to tunes. There was a flash of light outside my window. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I didn't have to explain it. I saw the snails on the farm disappear. Then I heard a knock at the door. The flash of light wanted to come in. I closed the blinds. Now everyone knows your name except for me. Frisk. Okay, I won't forget it. Your name? Frisk. I didn't forget. <laughs> because I cried the letters into my... I cried the letters into my hand. That took me a second to figure out what they meant by that. All right, Metaton. I should have the key to his house, too. There you are, Frisk, darling. Feast your eyes. Dr. Alfie's completed my wonderful new body. Ooh, and did you hear? The barrier's open. I can't wait to see the sun. The greatest spotlight of all. Oh yes, I suppose I should thank you too, darling. Before fighting you, I had... ...forgotten how fun it was to perform with others. So I've been searching for a hot talent to fill up my upcoming trope. Troop. So far, Shiren's agreed to be my backup singer. And Bl Napstablook here will be my sound mixer. The three of us performing together, it really feels overdue, doesn't it? <laughs> kind of love Metaton. Oh no, the letters in my hand are joining together. Oh no, I'm going to forget your name. Oh no, I'm trying to cry more tears into my hand. Oh no, the tears are all forming a big pile. Oh no, your name's getting really long. <laughs> wow. I thought maybe he would have something else to say after I talked to Metaton. Frisk, darling, can you help me with something? What kind of merchandise do you think humans would want to buy? I've thought of a few ideas so far. Buttons with my face, stickers with my face, CDs with my face, posters with my face, t-shirts with my face, underwear with my face, and plush dolls of Toriel. <laughs> you can actually buy one of those from the Undertale online store, I think. I need to turn off my phone, it keeps alerting me. But, you know, with my face instead of hers. Okay, never mind. You can't buy that from the store. <laughs> so what do you think? <laughs> I can only... A yes or no prompt was not provided. <laughs> Fabulous! I completely agree. Oh, Frisk, why don't you see how Alfie's is doing? Since the flash of light, she's been working hard to set everything right. Haha, <laughs> about time, huh? Already did. Let's see if Napstablook says anything different. Uh. Yeah. Okay. It's already read that. Oh shit! I think I have the key to this. It's locked. Okay. Wait. Hmm. 
I have these freaking healing items I never used. One of a couple of them are dreams. Mystery key! Woo! Also, let's see if I can. Toriel sent you a message. Dear Frisk, how are you? You have been wandering around for quite some time now. I hope you are not getting into trouble. <laughs> Only kidding, LOL. Sincerely, Toriel. P.S. Do not get into trouble. <laughs> oh, let's see if I can. No response. Their phone might be out of batteries. God damn it. Okay, can I go in? Oh, I have to actually use the. Use the mystery key. The red house's door was unlocked. The key disappeared. Interesting. <sighs> okay. Dear Diary, Shiren's sister fell down recently. It's sad, without her sister to speak for her. She's become more reclusive than ever. So I reached out to her and I told her that she, Blucky and I, should all perform together sometime. She seemed to like that idea. Metaton's actually kind of nice, you know, like once you get to know him. Dear Diary, I like to buy a new diary for every entry I make. I love to collect diaries. <sighs> Dearest Diary, our cousin left the farm to become a training dummy. Okay, so... I think Napstablook and Metaton are cousins, because Metaton was... this might be... This, I might be explaining something that's about to be explained, but Metaton's soul was a ghost, which was put into a robot. Metaton and Napstablook are cousins, so apparently uh, the ghost that became a training dummy, which is in front of uh, Undyne's house, is a cousin of theirs. So that's interesting. They're all ghosts and they're all related. That leaves just Blookie and I. Blookie asked me if I was going to try to become corporeal, too. They sounded so resigned. Come on, Blucky, you know I'd never leave you behind. Whoops, except you did. And besides, I'd never find the kind of body I'm looking for anyway. My darling diary, I met someone interesting today. Last week I posted that advertisement for my human fan club. Today was our first meeting. Only one other person came. Honestly, she's a dork, and she's obsessed with these awful cartoons. But she's kind of funny, too. I want to see her again. Diary, my dear. My diary collection is going fabulously. I have, like, five now. Dear diary, she surprised me with something today. Sketches of a body that she wants to create for me. A form beyond my wildest fantasies. In a form like that, I could finally feel like myself. After all, there's no way I can be a star the way I am now. Sorry, Blucky. My dreams can't wait for anyone. Oh, wow. That's interesting. I like that. Metaton has a bit more depth than you would think. Just a bit. Oh, okay. Why don't you go see how Alphys is doing? You're the one that stopped being friends with her. Asshole. <laughs> okay, that's a bit harsh. That's <laughs> still on fire. And there's the third cousin right there. So you helped us all- you helped get us all free. I guess I really acted like a dummy to you. I guess that's the same dummy that became Mad Dummy and attacked me. See, if you really wander around, you get to- you get to see all kinds of, uh, NPCs. Like, that you fought against earlier and stuff like that. Not just the characters who are, you know... Oh! Well, like that one! <laughs> Uh, Washu. Washua. Don't drag your dirty feet in here, I just cleaned this trash. Let's see what these rocks or whatever they are have to say. Seems like this is the beginning of a brand new boundless world. Waha, this adventurous spirit. I'm like a kid again. And my children are like double children. <laughs> now we can play monsters and humans with real humans! Hmm. When humans play monsters and humans, 
Do they just call it humans and humans? <laughs> oh, this guy. Ice Wolf no longer has to throw ice. Ice Wolf can take a break to buy some pants now. Ice Wolf thinking of changing their name to Jimmy Hot Pants. <laughs> you absolutely should do that, dude. I keep forgetting to call Tor- I can't- I'm kind of annoyed that I can't call, like, Papyrus anymore. Excuse me, I did not mean to write sincerely. I meant to say sincerely. It is difficult to use this with large hands. Perhaps I should ask Sans to transcribe for me. Let's see what, uh, Monster Kid says. Yo, what's up? I've been kind of doing some thinking. Maybe Undyne isn't actually as cool as we thought. Bullshit, she's way cooler. She's just kind of mean. But yo, I just found out about someone way cooler. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Dude! No! That's just wrong. It'll be nice to show human our presence under the tree tradition. They'll probably be weirded out by it. Uh, is anyone else weirded out by those giant shambling amalgamates or. Yeah, I kind of skipped over them for the time being, but I'll get back to them. That kid over there told me that it's weird that I have a pet bunny. First, there'd be nothing weird about it. It's cute! Second, what? It's normal to walk your younger brother on a leash, right? <laughs> sure. Doggo. Having an amorphous shambling family member is great. They're always moving so I can see them 100% of the time. All of our parents have been combined into one horrible being. That's okay though. It's really brought our families together. Hmm, now that our parents are the same entity, does that mean I'm married to my sister? <laughs> Wait, we're dogs. That stuff's normal. <laughs> Interesting conversation. Okay, okay. Oh my, there's so much news to report. I don't know where to begin. How about this headline? Monsters go free from the underground. Nah, that doesn't have enough pizzazz. How about top 10 monsters you won't believe got freed from the underground? Good job. <laughs> hey, Grilby finally talked to me. Wow, a brand new world. I might not get to translate for Grilby anymore. Which is fine, since I was actually just making up what he was saying. <laughs> In the end, I never caught any girls on my fishing line. So, kid, take it from me. Don't try to catch hot people with a fishing rod. <laughs> Somewhere you can hear a whinny of dismay. Uh, Aaron? It finally won a game of poker against itself. Everybody's happy. Soon I'll be able to try some human food. And then I guess I'll try a human bathroom, too. <laughs> this guy and his food and poop obsession. I wonder if the overworld has hot guys. And neat drinks. Ooh, I'm ready. Drunk bunny. I heard Dr. Alfie's told the king and queen the awful things she'd done. The king felt so bad that he didn't know. He gave her a big hug. Then the queen fired her. <laughs> now we don't have a royal scientist anymore. That's politics! <laughs> oh, I've been forgetting to call... Toriel. Toriel sent you a message. Sounds will be typing from now on. <laughs> Uh oh, this guy. Three gold for the fairy. Yes. Hop on. <laughs> Thanks for stepping on my face. Here's the here's the three gold. <laughs> you got three gold. Let's 
Seems like the mouse has freed some of the cheese from the crystal somehow. <laughs> oh, it's Onion San! Or Onion San, whichever. Oh my god, you are so creepy! I've been wondering when we're all gonna go free! So since if we did, how would I ever know? Well, I'll keep my tentacles out for you, you hear? As soon as I know what- I'll be the first to tell you, you hear? <laughs> God, he's so creepy! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, hey, it's Shiren! And one of the amalgamates, I think? Ooh, it's good to be with my sister again. Okay. Wow, I've never seen this one before. That's creepy. Part of me wants to see if my new brother Aaron... Part of me wants to see my new brother Aaron. Okay. Wow. But most other parts of me don't. Okay. Yikes. Yeah, one of the amalgamates had part of Shiren. Or part of Shiren's sister. Oh! Hey, check it out, it's Aaron. First ghosts are real, and now anime's real. All my nightmares are true. <laughs> okay. It's actually the first time I've ever seen Aaron in, at this point. Shiren is sort of cute, even though she's creepy. Ah! Speak of the devil. It's gotta be any day now! Toriel sent you a message. Hey, Frisk, it's Toriel! <laughs> I just baked 10 million pies! Do you want any? That's really sad. Make sure to brush your teeth before crossing the street, Frisk. <laughs> oh, that was obviously Sans. That's awesome. <laughs> I did not say any of that. <laughs> I figured as much, Goat Mom. Don't worry. Oh, it's, uh... Ice Cap. Maybe someone on the surface will pay attention to me. <laughs> There's so many people, someone has to, right? Sure. We all really care about your hat, dude. Here, if anything. Oh, yeah, it's this guy. Gyro something. Everyone's leaving, eh? Good riddance. Maybe I'll finally get some peace and quiet. <laughs> He's gonna stay underground. Some people will leave him alone. Oh, another ice cap. I didn't expect to see more than one. I know how to set myself apart now. An ear piercing. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> oh, hey, it's Snow Drake? <laughs> I guess we'll have to go to the surface. There are woods there we can live in, right? Oh, it's another ice cap. God damn, there's a lot of you guys. Ha! After all this time, you're still thinking about my hat. Please? <laughs> it's a plate of lukewarm spaghetti. Seems like something tried eating it and just gave up. <laughs> Even the mouse doesn't want it. Sorry, Papyrus. Ah, I can feel that piece of me has been well taken care of. Hmm? The barriers opened up? Hmm. Then if it's not too much to ask, could you take that piece of me to the surface? I would really appreciate it. Sure, why not? It's just been sitting in my inventory. <laughs> it seems like cheating, but, you know, he doesn't notice, so... Technically, the inventory moved, so it's kind of been around with me, in a, in a sense. Oh, there we go! Snowdrake and his parents. Uh, I guess I go this way. Mom might have to share her mind with other people now, but she's still my mom. And that's cool. Because, uh, we're made of ice and stuff. What? It's a joke. Laugh at it! I don't have to laugh at your jokes anymore, goddammit. The doctor, she brought my wife back from the dead. My son, he seems happy again. Our family, it's bigger than ever. Now that my wife is combined with 16 other people. <laughs> 
No, we. Aww. Snowdrake's mom was the most heartbreaking boss. Every time this old tree grows any leaves, they fall right off. I don't remember if I checked that tree before. Hey, Froggit! Ribbit, ribbit. Seems like the ruins have finally opened up. Maybe we should finally go out to the rest of the underground. Huh? The barriers are open too? Let's just take this one step at a time, okay? Oh, there he is! Hey, little Asriel! Don't worry about me! Someone has to take care of these flowers. Frisk, please leave me alone. I can't come back. I just can't, okay? I don't want to break their hearts all over again. It's better if they never see me. Why are you still here? Are you trying to keep me company? Frisk. Hey. Let me ask you a question. Frisk. Why did you come here? Everyone knows the legend, right? Travelers who climb Mount Ebbet are said to disappear. Frisk. Why would you ever climb a mountain like that? Good question. Was it foolishness? Was it fate? Or was it because you... Well, only you know the answer, don't you? I know why Lithos climbed the mountain. It wasn't for a very happy reason. Frisk, I'll be honest with you. Lithos hated humanity. What they did, or... Why they did, they never talked about it. But they felt really strongly about that. Frisk, you really are different from Lithos. In fact, though you have similar, uh, fashion choices, I don't know why you ever acted like you were the same person. Maybe the truth is, Lithos wasn't really the greatest person. While Frisk, you're the type of friend I wish I always had. So maybe I was kind of projecting a little bit. Let's be honest, I did some weird stuff as a flower. <laughs> There's one last thing I feel like I should tell you. Frisk, when Lithos and I combined our souls together, The control over our body was actually split between us. They were the one that picked up their own empty body. Interesting. And then when we went, got to the village, they were the one that wanted to, to use our full power. I was the one that resisted, and then, because of me, we... Well, that's why I ended up like a flower. <laughs> why I ended up a flower? Frisk! This whole time, I've been blaming... I've blamed myself for that decision. That's why I adopted that horrible view of the world. Kill or be killed. But now, after meeting you... Frisk, I don't regret that decision anymore. I did the right thing. If I killed those humans, we would have had to wage war against all of humanity. And in the end, everyone went free, right? I still feel kind of sad knowing how long it took. So maybe it wasn't a perfect decision. But you can't regret hard choices your whole life, right? Well, not that I have much of a life left, but that's beside the point. <laughs> Frisk, thank you for listening to me. You should really go be with your friends now, okay? Oh, and please, in the future, if you, uh, see me, don't think of it as me, okay? I just want you to remember me like this. Someone that was your friend for a little while. God, you talk a lot. <laughs> oh, and Frisk, be careful in that outside world, okay? Despite what everyone thinks, it's not as nice as it is here. There are a lot of flowies out there. And not everything can be resolved by just being nice. Frisk, don't kill and don't be killed, all right? That's the best you can strive for. We'll see you. Frisk, don't you have anything better to do? I think that's the last thing he says. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. Bye, little Azriel. Mm. Um, 
Let's see if I can remember how to do this. I had forgotten. Ah, fuck. Oh, man. Can't I just... Okay, well, wait a second. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. I used to remember that puzzle really well, and now suddenly I've forgotten it. go. <laughs> Small victories. <laughs> really? It doesn't look that way. <laughs> Most of the pie is gone. There are dog prints in it. <laughs> That's awesome. Still just you, Frisk. <laughs> I teach Flamesman. What? Do you want a rematch? <laughs> Sorry if you hear it clicking, it's because I have a cough drop in my mouth. Oh, you know what? I've been forgetting to call Toriel again. Probably too late now. Toriel sent you a message. Greetings, this is Sans. Oh. Greetings, this is Sans. I love my brother very much. Help, I'm being slandered. <laughs> Read that in the wrong voice. I'm confused now. This is Sans. Frisk, did you know that I love to get owned? I also think Toriel is very good and. Blah, 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 blah. Excuse me. That must have been Toriel because of the caps. That got confusing. Coffin is empty? You didn't notice before, but there's something like mummy wrappings at the bottom of it. That's weird. Hmm. Okay, I guess this wasn't meant to be my coffin. I guess this was the coffin of their kid. The one that I named. I don't know. I was really surprised when the coffin said Lithos because I'm like, wait a minute, that's not my character's name though. It just seems odd that he'd be in the same room with those other coffins, you know? Like, one of these things is not like the other. Alright, let's call Toriel one more time. <laughs> Toriel sent you a message titled, Cat Video. Inside, she meticulously describes a video she saw of a small white animal. <laughs> there is no link or attachment to watch it. <gasps> oh, it's amazing. Okay. Okay, so they're all gonna say, um... They're all gonna say the same thing, I just have to go. So here we go! I'm going up to the surface, you guys! Guess I'll say really quick. <laughs> Probably good that's gonna do. If you leave here, your adventures will really be over. Yep, I'm aware of that. Your friends will follow you out of the underground. I'm ready. Oh my! Isn't it beautiful, everyone? Wow, it's even better than on TV! Way better! Better than I ever imagined! Frisk, you live with this? The sunlight is so nice, and the air is so fresh. I really feel alive. Hey, Sans! What's that giant ball? <laughs> we call that the sun, my friend. That's the sun? Wowee! I can't believe I'm finally meeting the sun! I could stand here and watch this for hours. Yes, it is beautiful, is it not? But we should really think about what comes next. Oh, right. Everyone, this is the beginning of a bright new future. 
an era of peace between humans and monsters. Frisk, I have something to ask of you. Will you act as our ambassador to the humans? Be the best, of course. I love you guys. Yeah, Frisk will be the best ambassador! And I, the great Papyrus, will be the best mascot! I'll go make a good first impression! <laughs> well, someone's gotta keep him from getting into trouble! See you guys! <laughs> he goes the other way. Probably a shortcut knowing him. Man, do I have to do everything? Papyrus, wait! Hey, Undyne, wait up! Can I push Toriel and and, and Asgore together? <laughs> Whoops. Uh, should I do something? <laughs> well, gotta go. It seems that everyone is quite eager to set off. Oh, it's appropriate that I'd spend the rest of this game with Goat Mom. Frisk! You came from this world, right? So you must have a place to return to, do you not? What will you do now? I want to stay with you, of course, Goat Mom. What? Frisk! You really are a funny child. If you had said that earlier, none of this would have happened. <laughs> I didn't want to stay with you underground. Up here is different. It is a good thing you took so long to change your mind. Hehehe. <laughs> well, I suppose. If you really do not have any other place to go, I will do my best to take care of you for as long as you need. All right? Now, come along. Aww. Everyone is waiting for us. Aww. <laughs> Get to go off with Goat Mom. Best ending ever. Woo! Credits! <laughs> Do I have to hit enter? Oh, okay. <laughs> frog it, professional frog. Wimsome, still a bit guilty. Mode small, found a new cave. Luke's, reformed bully. Vegetoid, popular nutritionist. Me, me gosp, casually enjoys life. Naps to Blook. Spooky DJ. <laughs> Remember how Papyrus was saying he wanted to drive his car? He wanted to drive a car down the street, and a convertible specifically, and his bed looked like a car. Well, there he goes. He's driving his car. That's why I reacted when I said that. I'm like, ah, I remember. Snow Drake. Semi-successful comedian. Ice Cap, thinking about its hat. Gift Trot. Gift Trot, that was that thing's, that thing was called. Christmas display. Doggo has his own seeing eye dog. <laughs> Dogami and Dogaressa. Finally, number one nose nuzzle champions. Lesser dog. Searching for affection. Greater dog, excited by life's changes. Aww. <laughs> Check out Undyne and Alfie's. <laughs> she took 99.99 damage. <laughs> Aaron by Timmy, reluctantly. Paranormal investigator? <laughs> right. Mulebug. Idyllic life on the beach. Washua, legendary janitor. Timmy, Timmy, Timmy. <laughs> yeah, one of the artists involved in this game is named Timmy. Change your name to Angry- Oh, fuck! I didn't get to read that! Oh, well. Dude, 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 dude. Okay, I see Caddy. 
Uh, I see a Temmie there. I'm looking at the Onis because I didn't before. Oh, there's a... Uh, there's burger pants off to the right there. Crap. Stuff's going by too fast. Vulcan! Encouraging space heater. Sunderplane finally confesses. What? I don't! <laughs> High rope. Candle in the world's largest birthday cake. Muffet. Spider success with a new bakery. Royal guards. Use your imagination. <laughs> Final froggit. Searching for life's meaning. Whims a lot, fighting for the future. Astigmatism. Domineering glasses seller. Magic. Street magician. Night night. Taking a well deserved nap. Amalgamates. Living with their families, thinking about sticks. <laughs> Asgore. Aww. Look, he's trimming a hedge in the shape of <laughs> Papyrus's smile. There's so many references at the end here that were mentioned earlier. Oh, Toriel's a teacher. Oh, I love her purple rimmed glasses. I didn't notice those before. Hmm. Happy endings for everybody. Yeah, it's still not really over. Oh, fuck. Oh, what? Ha 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 ha! Did you really think it was over? <laughs> I mean, we haven't even done the special thanks yet! Ready? Let's end all of this for good! Oh, God. Here's why I have to try to dodge. Credits. Oh, fuck. Oh, damn it! There's some kind of bonus if you can... I don't know if you have to dodge all of them, but you have to dodge a certain number. Ah! Oh, come on! How am I supposed to do that? Actually, um... I kind of am. <laughs> I don't know why they're not hitting me, but okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, damn you cheating bastards. Damn it. I'm not doing very well, probably. Ah! Oh, God. Shit. Ah. Uh, I think we've... We've, we've already proven a long time ago that I suck at dodging. Piccolo would be so pissed at me. Ah, what? How is it even? Okay, I need to know, I, I need to find out later on just for my own uh, curiosity if uh, there's a YouTube video of someone dodging every single one of these. I'll bet there is. Though I'll be damned if I know how that's even possible. Okay, I'm starting to get a little bit better now. This is hard on a keyboard. Ah! Have to move around so much. Ooh! Man. Ah! Touched credits. It tells you how many. Yeah, those are the ones I was unable to dodge. Thanks to friends and family for supporting us. Thanks to you, the player from the bottom of our hearts. Without you, all this would be impossible. Good night. <laughs> Why am I tearing up right now? That's weird. Stop it. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. Oh, thanks, Goat Mom. You are welcome, my child. Be good, all right. <laughs> uh.
I finally beat this fucking game. I mean, I love it, don't get me wrong, but yeah. It was definitely kind of rough at times. Especially with OBS crashing and, uh, yeah, let's not- I'm not gonna keep bringing that up. Um... I don't think I really have anything to say. Uh, oh, some people wanted me to do a uh, genocide route. Um, it's not that I'm above doing genocide route or anything, it's just I've seen my husband play it and I've watched the Game Grumps play it and I know that there are a couple of bosses in Genocide Route that are really fucking hard and I literally don't think I'm capable of beating that game. Oh! Annoying dog! <laughs> Hi, Toby! <laughs> annoying dog is basically an avatar for Toby in, in every sense of the word. But I, yeah, I probably will not be doing Genocide Route. I might try playing it on my own and if it turns out I'm better at it than I think, then maybe I'll revisit this and do a Let's Play of that, but... Yeah, as it stands now, I don't think I'm gonna do that. Um, I guess that's it. Okay, let me reload this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's my red dwarf background. Um, I think so- actually, I think something comes up when you start- There we go! Flowey's back! Hi! Seems as if everyone is perfectly happy. Monsters have returned to the surface. Peace and prosperity will rule across the land. Take a deep breath. There's nothing left to worry about. <laughs> well, there is one thing. One last threat. One being with the power to erase everything. Everything everyone's worked so hard for. You know who I'm talking about, don't you? <laughs> that would be me, Flowey. That's right. I'm talking about you. You still have the power to reset everything. Toriel, Sans, Asgore, Alphys, Papyrus, Undyne. If you choose, everyone will be ripped from this timeline and sent back before all of this ever happened. Nobody will remember anything. You'll be able to do whatever you want. That power! I know that power! That's the power you were fighting to stop, wasn't it? The power that I wanted to use! But now, the idea of resetting everything... I... I don't think I could do it all again. Not after that. So please, just let them go. Let Frisk be happy. Let Frisk live their life. <laughs> but if I can't change your mind if you do end up erasing everything you have to erase my memories too I'm sorry you've probably heard this a hundred times already haven't you <laughs> a couple well that's all see you later lithos Yep. <laughs> so there we go, I'm done. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, I think I've said everything. I... I think I've basically covered everything, so yeah. Um, oh, I may or may not do a film den on this, um, like way in the future, like maybe a year from now. Uh, originally I thought I would, but there have been so many people doing like, uh, videos about Undertale where they dig into all the details and stuff, so I, I, I don't know for sure if I'm gonna do it or not, but, you know, I, I tentatively plan to, I guess we'll just see what happens, but if I do, it'll be like a year from now. Okay, I think that's it, my voice is shot, so I need to quit, so thanks very much for watching this Let's Play, it was, it was a lot of fun to do, if nothing else, it gave me an excuse to, you know, pretend I'm a voice actor for a bit, so, um, Oh, I will also, I have another Let's Play in mind after this one. I'm actually going to continue doing Let's Play since I really enjoy this one. And, and as an extra thing, it's fine to, for me to keep doing Let's Plays as long as I have the time to do more than one video per week. So yeah, um, I'm going to continue doing Let's Plays. Um, like I said, thank you very much for watching this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I sucked at it sometimes, but I, I still hope you enjoyed watching me play it. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it. 
See you next time.